A principal approach education is based on one simple idea. Rather than teaching students what to think, they should be taught how to think, how to reason from biblical truth and make applications in every area of life. At its core are seven biblical principles on which this nation was founded. These principles build the framework for a Christian view of God, man, and government. God's principle of individuality. There is one God who is sovereign over all creation. Everything in God's universe is an expression of his character, his nature, his infinity, and his individuality. Principle of Christian self-government. One must allow Christ to rule in their heart internally. The amount of liberty one enjoys is directly related to the degree to which that individual governs himself according to God's word. The Seed Principle. The seed of local Christian self-government is planted internally in the heart of the individual and then moves outwardly to affect the family, the church, and the civil government. The principle of Christian character. A self-governing society requires a virtuous people in order to endure. The Christian idea of civil government. Civil government takes into account man's sinful nature and exists to secure the God-given rights of the individual. Civil government is based upon God's law, not the will of the people. The Christian principle of property. That for which one labors becomes his property. The individual has a property in his thoughts and beliefs, as well as in his physical possessions. Conscience is our most sacred property. The principle of unity. Unity with diversity is a reflection of the nature of God, revealed in the Trinity and creatively expressed in the universe. Internal unity produces external union. It was on these biblical principles that our founding fathers built this nation. And in these principles, we find the roots of our form of education, the principal approach.